This is the review of the K and F concept 58mm slim fader variable ND filter. So this variable natural density filter allows you to adjust the amount of light reaching your sensor without having to carry around a bag full of screw on filters. If you have been in the market for this type of filter, you will know that this one is on the budget and when purchasing this filter you are agreeing to make a compromise, but as you will see in the review is not much a compromise for what you get. The problem associated with this variable natural density filter so fundamentally arise due to his filter functions. The filter is comprised of two polarizing filters and by rotating the front filter we can increase or decrease the amount of light reaching the sensor. Now at the most extreme settings this filter will exhibit the undesirable effects of the design X called the black X. Uh, you will see now some test shots that I made with my Panasonic G7 and the 14 to 140 lens. You can see here some test shot with this ND filter. Some shots are made, you can see here, in sunset with exposure of 4 seconds and stop down to f22, the ISO was 100. You can see here the next shot was took at a bright day, it was ISO 100, the exposure one was 20 seconds, it was the end of filter at the maximum stop of 10 stops and the f was f22. Another picture, picture of the same ND filter review, you can see here it was a sunny day, I made an exposure of 1 or a 50th of a second. And for the last picture you can see here the ND filter is performing really great, this is a picture of, this is a picture of the Rijeka river made with an exposure of 1.3 seconds and aperture of 4.4 with a cloudy day. I am turning the ring to show you how it blacks the screen and way to, to the maximum closing. This is how it works. I will now unscrew it to show you. This is then the filter and this is the fading. This mounts on your lens. This is a 58mm lens for my Panasonic G7. I am filming with the kit lens 14 to 140. It, the lens is stopping down. This is the maximum, maximum stopping down. It's a bright sunny day and without lens filming at 50, 50 of, of the shutter speed and a 24 frames per second it would be like this. This is without the stopping of the filter. I can show it now, I unscrew it and now it's filming without the ND filter. Now I will show you when I mount the filter. I have to stop it down to the maximum to achieve I think like a bit a bit less. This is how you use it. So another demonstration you can see here the stopping of the ND filter without with the ND filter mounted on you see the difference for uh, such a cheap filter it's performing great and I wouldn't mind at all biting if I don't have it it's super cheap and for the price you don't can expect better results. So if you liked the video please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you.